Hey everybody, it's Jen Kramer, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about EMS versus REM. This is something that came up in my recent LinkedIn Live session that I ran, where we were talking about the semantic HTML and CSS code challenges. Someone asked, what's the difference between an M and a REM? So I have a great demo for this, which folds in a bunch of other CSS concepts that will be useful to you as you are working with CSS. So this is CodePen that you're looking at here, and I will give you a link to the CodePen in the description down below there on YouTube and uh, inside of the email if you happen to be clicking on the email and watching this video from there. All right, so first of all, we'll start with this. I have very simply a div with a class of EX1 as an example one. And it's got an H1 and a P inside of it. And I have really no other styling over here. I set the font to Arial because I hate looking at Times New Roman. And right now, I could start styling this with M's and REMs, but you wouldn't necessarily see a whole lot of differences here. The first thing you always ought to do is, if you're debugging your CSS is either put a background color on it or turn on the border. Either one of those things is going to help you a lot. If you can't see it, you can't style it. So let's start with that. Let's just put in some um, generic styling here for my H1. And so for my H1, let's set a background color to green. Alternatively, we could put on my favorite one pixel solid red for the border. That would be okay too. Let's make the text readable, color white. And then let's put padding of 1M. All right, so 1M of padding around that particular H1. Now let's do exactly the same thing. I'm just gonna copy this and paste it again. This time I'm gonna make it blue. And let's apply this to the paragraph. And so here's the interesting part of this. Check it out. See how they're both 1M e -M of padding, but they don't line up. So what is going on here? Well, remember that M is a relative unit of measure. And so 1M here inside of this H1, relatively speaking, uh, it is assigning one M of padding around this based on this particular base font size, which is one M in that particular universe. This is also set to be one M in the paragraph universe, and it has a similar amount of padding on all of the sides. So it's done exactly what you told it to do. It's looking at a very relative unit of measure and it's assigning it accordingly. So if you look at it, Proportionately speaking, the space is the same around each of those sets of text. One is just a lot larger than the other one. So let's try this same thing again. I'm gonna copy my HTML and just copy paste. I'm gonna change the class here to EX2. Now I'm going to copy my CSS that I just wrote here for the first batch of stuff and paste it in again. And this time I'm gonna change it to EX2 H1 and the EX2 paragraph, okay? Just like that. And instead, let's set these to one REM. So one R-E-M, R-E-M. Doesn't stand for rapid eye movement. It's not a band from the 80s and the 90s that really rocked my Gen X world. It is in fact root relative M's. So what does that mean? It means it goes back and looks at the value of what one M is at the HTML tag that starts your document. You don't see that HTML tag here inside of CodePen, but it is in fact there. So if we go back and we look at what this one M was defined as at the HTML tag, usually it's defined at 16 pixels is one M. And so here, when we take a look at this, in the display, you'll see that now, in fact, everything lines up exactly as you expected by using rem instead. And so it looks like proportionately speaking, there's slightly less padding around this H1 
than there is around the paragraph, but it still looks good because now everything is all lined up. Which one should you be using on your site? It depends. What I would recommend is if you're a beginner, the rem, the root relative m, is generally easier to understand. It's still a very flexible uh, type of size and uh, works well on your document. If you are a more advanced developer and M's are something where you need to have flexibility within a chunk of code, maybe even a component, and you need it to be able to flex and shrink depending on what the base font size happens to be, you might be better off with M's. It all just depends on what your situation is and what it is that you're coding. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.